Hey, what's going on, guys? Tuko from Music ID TV, and I kind of wanted to get into what was going on the last couple of videos. Now, in the last videos, I've been talking about royalties a little bit. We've touched on mechanical royalties, we've touched on digital performance royalties, and I saw a little bit of confusion going on in the comment section below, which is not what we truly want because the best thing we can have is a full understanding of the way our music is actually making money so we can make money from our music. Right. OK, so I'm going to be talking about five different royalties today. So you have a better scope of what this royalty situation has going on. The five royalties I'll be talking about today is performance rights royalties. I'll be talking about mechanical royalties, master recording royalties, digital performance royalties and synchronization royalties. OK, so performance rights royalties are what is collected by a performance rights organization. Generally, we hear about this when it comes to ASCAP, BMI, CSAC, so on and so forth. They're collecting money from blanket license fees that people pay in their establishments to be able to play music. This goes for venues, restaurants, lobbies and hotels. If they're playing music, those type of entities have to pay a blanket license fee that goes to ASCAP and then ASCAP pays out to songwriters. So this is not for recording artists, this is a songwriter royalty. They pay out songwriters based on a pro rata basis, meaning whatever percentage of that song or whatever percentage of the plays that your song got is the percentage of money that you make, okay? So if there's 100 streams, you had 10 of those streams, and there's $100, you get 10 of those $100 for those 100 streams, okay? You got 10%, that's what you get paid out. And the people who collect those are ASCAP, BMI, CSAC, if you're in Canada, that's so can. It's a performance rights organization, whatever country you may be in, look for your performance rights organization that is most fitting for you. Outside of that, the next royalty is mechanical royalties. This is what I talk about in the Song Trust video. This royalty is directly connected to your streaming and your sales okay this is also a songwriter royalty this is for the songwriter and companies that take care of this are song trust tunecore music publishing cd baby pro okay so this is very different from your performance rights royalty your performance rights royalty is for a performance of your song in a public setting okay mechanical rights royalties are connected to the actual sales or streams of your music two different ways you're being paid two different usages okay after that is digital performance royalties digital performance royalties is pretty much the same thing as ASCAP and BMI but on a digital scale now this means non-interactive digital plays like Pandora radio beats one radio anywhere where you're not selecting the song to play non-interactive that's where your digital performance royalties comes from and this gets paid out by sound exchange they are designated by the government to collect these specific type of royalties on digital platforms okay so this is not necessarily normal spotify streaming this is a normal apple streaming where you go and select drake song and then you bam you got what you want and that's not where this payment comes from this payment comes from more so selecting drake station on pandora whoever gets paid there gets paid from that money okay next royalty is master recording royalty master recording royalty is the royalty that you receive directly from spotify apple music when you distribute your music digitally through platforms like tunecore cd baby and distro kid all right now this master recording is designated to record labels and recording artists now this is the first royalty i mentioned which is specifically for record labels and recording artists so you need to understand that when you are getting paid from distro kit tunecore spot i'm sorry from distro kit tunecore cd baby that money that you're receiving is money for the master recording specifically for the recording artist so if you are the recording artist and you are your own label you're receiving your just due you're receiving that money but you are not receiving your money from mechanical royalties nor are you receiving your money from performance rights royalties unless you're actually registered with someone to take care of your mechanical royalties and a pro to take care of your performance rights royalties and sound exchange to take care of your royalties on a digital level for non-interactive plays that's all for songwriters now if you write your songs you need to make sure you registered with someone to take care of all those royalties once again all those royalties is something we should be looking to collect in the end all right 
last royalty but not least royalty actually probably the most royalty in a sense because it'll be sync licensing royalty this is where a lot of people are getting a lot of money especially nowadays this is one of the things that i would definitely suggest people try and really get into sync licensing getting your music on film and television reason being because the royalty gets paid out equally between the recording artist and the songwriter so if you are the recording artist and the songwriter or just one or the other you're standing to be paid nicely not only percentage wise but just fee wise a lot of fees you can get up like six figures for certain sync license opportunities depending on the song depending on the campaign depending 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 now don't have any specific companies that you should register with to get your sync licensing going but there is a link below that has a list of a ton of sync licensing companies y'all can look into do your research make sure it's fitting for you one thing you have to get into with this whole independent music thing is doing your research because honestly it's not handed to us if you were signed with the publishing company they would take care of all this stuff for you but a lot of us are not and this is what we have to take care of on our own but just understand this is what's kind of going on behind the scenes that we aren't always privy to so if you have any more questions about this i will be answering questions to help people have a better understanding of this kind of royalty wrap up now didn't want this to necessarily be a class but i also wanted everybody to be able to follow whenever i touch on things that could be talking about receiving more money from your royalties or any platforms or any news that has to do with this beyond that be sure to share with a friend like and subscribe for more videos y'all once again my name is tuco from music idtv and this is used the news. Sign out.